on today's episode, we take it home. Jacobs and Jacobs do after. Welcome back to another exciting episode on the Kapo channel. I'm Theo Leroux and my co-host on Twitter. Welcome back. So today we're taking it slightly more home. As you can see, we're going to be cupping the thing that everybody has available to them most of the time. Most people stop this at home because it's convenient. Right? It's just add water. Now, a little something interesting about Capo Cafe, we do not do robusta coffee and we do not do instant coffees. But the reason why we decided to cup uh, the instant coffees for you guys is so that we can give our perspective of what it does on our palate. We love coffee and so therefore we want to motivate coffee internationally and all types of coffee, not just speciality coffee. It is important to us. Well, on, on this instant coffee as well, as it is coffee beans. It is coffee it's beans. It's not freshly roasted or freshly, uh, freshly grinded coffee beans, but in the end it's still more or less coffee beans. So. But, but so tell us, what's the process of how instant coffee is made? Well, it's technically very much the same as how you make normal coffee, except the, uh, the drinking process. Because with this, it's also the same. It goes through the process, through the plant, through the, the mashing, the palpitation, getting the berries, then roasting it just as you do normal coffee, grinding just as you do normal coffee. With this, the only difference with this is they make a big, big amount of coffee with it, where they extract the coffee. That coffee then gets frozen into a long, long coffee. So it actually looks like a frozen belt. <laughs> it is like frozen belt, I suppose, because I know it's a gigantic big freezer. It's a gigantic big freezer with a the conveyor belt. The coffee rods are on a conveyor belt. On a conveyor belt. It looks pretty cool. Very nice. So on, on until that stage is basically making the same as you make normal coffee. Um, after the freezing they break it down. Uh, after they break it down they do grind in a little bit more smaller portions, which is basically how you see it now, which is those little granules. Cool. After that the frozen dried oven where the water then gets extracted out of that out of that freezing solution. And after that, then all they do is they dry it. They wait for it to dry down, bottle it, sell it, and the people enjoy it. The way we like it. So very much the same as um, normal coffee, but all the elements that are in a normal cup of coffee, you should be able to get in a normal coffee granule one. There is the chicory one, which we'll probably do a bit later. That is a bit different. So. One thing to do take into consideration is you get rabasta beans and Arabica beans. Now, Robusta beans are a very harder, uh, more stubborn bean. It grows at lower altitudes. So it grows from 0 to 800 meters above sea level. As the name says, Robusta. As the name says, <laughs> Robusta. And um, so it has to be roasted. Because it's a very harder and more stubborn bean, you roast it a lot darker. So it becomes a lot but more bitter. They usually use the, the Robusta beans to give you the, give you the strength of the coffee. Stronger coffee. The Arabica beans are more about the, the flavor of the coffee. The robusta is more about the strength. Yes, it also I love has it. that caffeine content. Digital and of course, for the caffeinese, <laughs> like all the caffeinated addicts, um, the robusta is what you want to drink if you want to get a high. Yes. <laughs> if you want a nice coffee, you go for arabica. If you Correct. Want a very strong coffee, you go for robusta. And that's also the reason why most of these coffees and um, more industrial coffees, they mix the robusta and the arabica together. Correct. It for makes those, nice blends. Yes. For those, for those blends. I love it. Okay, so, we'll I think let's start with Do Echbert. A little interesting history on Do Echbert. Do Echbert was founded in 1753 by uh, Uncle Do Echbert, which is very strange because they originally called him, or his name was, Jacobs Do Echbert. And um, it, it's. Ironic. <laughs> yes, which is fairly funny. <laughs> okay, I love it. Uh, it, is, it is fairly funny that Dow Achbert and Jacob stand next to each other and one was created by Jacob Dow Achbert and the other by Johan Jacob. Johan Dow Jacob. But both owned by the same company. Um, so both of them, same suppliers. 
So maybe tell us a little bit about Dark Earth Bats history. Well, uh, the Earth was actually first called the White Ox, which was the grocery that Mr. Dark Earth Bat actually owned. It was his grocery and he made this. So after changed the name in I think like 1925, 1925 like around there, and that was actually named after his son, also the Afpet. Which that was his first name. For the first name though, not Jacob's though. <laughs> that's the father. And that's the Afpet we know now. Correct. Beautiful. Now if I have a look at that, that is a very, very nice crema right there. It is very nice, and that's why I say you can't really call this not a coffee. Because it nice. does give you everything, all the elements and all the coffee does, like being coffee. The nose does give me a more bitter, tobacco, ashy type of smell. Now one thing for me is, I do drink instant coffees as well. I do enjoy instant coffees as well. And I usually do not encourage people to use sugar and milk. But on instant coffees, I always want to say that. You kind of have and to. Milk, and milk is almost a must because the instant coffees are very, very bitter. Correct. We, they can be we bitter. are going to cup it with no sugar and no milk so that we can give you the actual taste of the coffees. I do smell more caramel than chocolate. I don't know if it's just me. Well, that is very possible because if I remember correctly, that Jacobs actually has a well they, they partnered with a company that has a chocolate yeah they actually do else. chocolates correct. So they do do chocolate which is very well. interesting right their coffee taste smells like chocolate and they actually make chocolate as well yeah no they, they i think jacob to me is more chocolatey and the afbat for me is more caramel yeah, more, more caramel. Uh, and ashy caramel i don't know it's a strange strange flavor which is fair but yeah let's get to tasting I'll let you do the honors first. I just want to see that face. <laughs> wow! Very high acidity. Definitely dependent on the coffee. <laughs> Fairly big body. It is. It might be around. Something impressive about the the, the efforts. They're very, very well, like they say on the bottles, a very, very bold and intense coffee. Mm. And the dough app which we actually do is the espresso style dough app. It's espresso so it is style. supposed to be the stronger one. And we have that bitter taste. We have that bitter taste, you have that ashy taste that you get. But I do pick yeah. up some flavors actually. Oh, as, as I take it in, it's very, very, very acidity, very high acidity. Which is strange um, for a, a stronger coffee. Correct. So that could be because of the process. I would look at. This thing will linger, will linger for hours. Definitely very acidic. Actually, not so bad. Actually, not so bad. <laughs> Interesting. Very, very nice I, well, I expected something worse because we didn't put any milk in it. <laughs> but it's got a very, very nice coffee flavor to it. Your teeth is yellow just like mine. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be the, the dough aspert. I'm back. <laughs> So that we can do the Jacobs. Actually, doing the Jacobs now. Jacobs is from Germany. It is from Germany. The Afbots is from the Netherlands, and Jacobs is from oh, very close to each other. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. You want to try and get a spoon out of there, or just chuck it in? So Jacobs only founded in 19, uh, sorry, 1895. So it's not really that old of a coffee. Now obviously distributed and I would think partly owned by the OF Bat family. But a completely different look to the coffee. It's much more grounded. The colour and everything is completely You're completely different. To the Bat. But just look at that. That's a Different textures, different colors. The dough after it actually doesn't look like a dark roast. It's a very, very light for the it strength. Interesting. But you can definitely see that these, this used to be coffee beans. It's not a chocolate. Correct. That is the 
the spoon. Always remember to rinse the spoon when you go between different coffees. Otherwise, it does influence it and reset the palate. This one takes slightly longer to dissolve in the water. It's also got a lot less of a crema in the body than... Correct, but, but check how oily this one is. It's actually very, very sticky. But it's definitely also got a more brownish, reddish color. Yes, more the, towards a, a, like a, a, a muddy type of coffee. Yes. coffee. It's very inter interesting though. Oh, completely different smell. Completely different, just trying to think of what. Very, very earthy. You know the difference between a red soil smell and a dark soil smell? This is like a darker soil. Could be, yes. Well, it definitely has a earthy smell. Smell of ground. Correct. Well, well, the nose is good, but I think let's uh... I'll take it this time first. Okay, let's give it a swish. I have some of my veggies for today. <laughs> that face is priceless. <laughs> no, that one is not for me. <laughs> I'm not a jellyfish person, obviously. <laughs> wow! That's a very, very strong, strong statement. <laughs> oh, wow! <clears throat> Completely different. Not as acidic as the Ochberg. Oh, no, yes. A lot more bitterness to it. But uh, oof, too bitter. <laughs> like the center of my tongue and the back of my tongue right now. No, no, no. Only center and back. My whole mouth. <laughs> Is it? The whole thing. The whole mouth is gone. Uh, but I do pick up on chocolate falls. If you get past the bitterness, 85 to 90 percent chocolate is right there on the tip of my tongue. I can really get that one there. And there's something else I'm also picking up on. Could be the ground. I'll have to take another sip. Wow. It's really strong. Man, oh man! <laughs> well, the chocolatey flavor is there. Good. Well, I'll take that with sugar and milk, please. Definitely. And a bit of cream on top. Just, just to get the milk. <laughs> That's Do Achbert and Jacob for you. Please, if you've got something else that you can maybe add to this, please go cup it. Tell us what you think. Let us know in the comments below. Tell us what you love on the palette. Uh, Dalakbert is probably the better one for us on here, but there are people that enjoy Jacobs more. Tell us about that. Tell us why. Tell us um, well, which one do you drink? Maybe we just took the wrong one. It could be that as well. That could be too. <laughs> but yes, so thanks for watching. Let us know.